skink. Oops. He's staying pretty still. Looks like a five southeastern five one skink. Wow, I'm actually getting really close to it. You thought he was gonna run. Ooh, that's cool. There's a water snake right there. It's kind of blurry. Yeah, I'm gonna see if I can get a better look. He might be a cottonmouth, so I'm gonna watch out. Actually, no, this is a brown water snake. Pretty chunky. Trying not to get him caught. Oh no 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 no! Don't 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 hurt, don't hurt yourself. Oh, he's cruising. Oh my gosh, it stinks. This is a brown water snake. They're relatively like arboreal, so they like to stick in like a little higher up places above the water. Ow. And they do have anticoagulant saliva, so. Did he just bite you? Yep. They, You're bleeding a lot. Oh. Uh, they have anticoagulant saliva, so it makes you kind of bleed more whenever it does bite you, so. Yeah. And Are you sure that ain't no moccasin? Yeah, for sure. Okay. <laughs> This is a very fat one. It's kind of in shed. It's getting more aggressive. But yeah. They're norm they're probably the most common snake around here. And they're normally found inside of bodies of water like this. One way to tell He's gonna bite your crotch. One way way to tell that they're brown water snakes is because they have these kind of squares in rows of three around their body, like checkers almost. And they're brown, but then they have darker brown squares on their body. They have super roughly keeled scales. And uh, so it kind of feels like a file. You can kind of see they have a line through their scale right there. Right. He's kind of cute. Right here. They have a line through their scale, which is called, they have keeled scales. Oh, this guy's kind of in shed, but show this. see how it kind of looks like a file. Some other snakes just have normal scales, like a fish almost. <laughs> he thinks that you're like a little nice hiding this place. This is a male. He has a longer tail than a female. That's why he's a male. Well, Polly. that's how you can tell that it's a male. Polly, remember to wash off your hands so it doesn't get infected. You're going to step on him, Paul. I know. I can see. They also have this kind of checkered belly. You can see right there. I'm going to hold him between my legs so he doesn't bite me. I'm going to see he has a nice checkered belly. See? That's what I meant by anticoagulant, because it's kind of a natural blood thinner, right here. It's kind of a natural blood thinner, so once it bites you, its saliva kind of thins your blood right there. Let's see his pretty face. It's a very large snake, though, right here. And he's also kind of puffing up his jaw. Oh, like, to make him look venomous? Yeah, to make himself look bigger. His one eye is kind of foggy, but that's just because he hasn't shed off the scale that's over top of his eye. I'm gonna pause it, okay? See, it's it's good to uh, to bandage up your arm after you here. Um, good to bandage up your arm after you get bitten by an island snake because they eat fish and frogs and all kinds of stuff that can build up in, with bacteria instead of its mouth.